Hello everyone and welcome to the second section of this course, Running Code in Parallel with Task Parallel Library. In the first video, we're going to have a look at tasks in .NET Core. TPL stands for Task Parallel Library, is a set of code APIs and it is based on the concept of a task. Task represents an asynchronous operation. Also, we can describe a task as an object representing an ongoing computation. Because of being object, we can check its status and manipulate it. The task object handles the infrastructure details and provides methods and properties that are accessible from the calling thread through the lifetime of the task. In some term, a task resembles a legacy thread or thread pool work item, but at a higher level of abstraction. The term task parallelism refers to one or more independent tasks running concurrently. We have two ways of creating tasks. An implicit way, which is achieved by using parallel invoke method, which provides a convenient way to run any number of arbitrary statements concurrently. The easiest way to create these statements, more precisely delegates, is by using lambda expressions. And an explicit way. In this case, we will use directly a task class instances. Task can be created as a void instance that does not return a value by using system.threading.tasks.task class or as a one that returns some value by using system.threading.tasks.task.t result class. When we create a task, pass a delegate that encapsulates the code that the task will execute. Let's see an example now. Here we have a two simple methods. One is called operation one and another is operation two. They're not performing anything special, just calling the console write line. Now we can implement a basic implicit invoke call that creates two tasks that run concurrently. The first task is represented by lambda expression that calls a method operation one. And the second task will be also represented by a lambda expression, which is going to call operation two method. Let's take a look at how this is executed. Okay, so as you can see, the execution order was pretty simple. Once it's found the parallel invocation, it have executed operation one and then operation two. It is important to mention that in this example, the number of tasks objects that are created behind the scenes by invoke method, it's not necessarily equal to the number of delegates provided. The task parallel library may employ various optimizations, especially with large number of delegates, meaning that if we have more operations, more tasks being created by parallel invoke method than their cores in the CPU where the code is being executed, then optimization techniques will be applied by the task parallel library. Now let's make some changes to see how the same could be achieved using explicit way. So in this case, we have added an explicit call to the task. Then we have created this console to make sure that we see that in between of task creation and task invocation, which happens with await method, this code is going to be executed first. Then we calling the task wait method to ensure that the task completes execution before the console mode application ends. Let's take a look. As you can see, first we have created an operation one task, then the console code was executed and we awaited for the operation one to be executed before ending the main method. This is called an explicit invocation of a task. 